Learning more tonight about a domestic violence situation over the weekend that led to a woman jumping from a moving vehicle up on Mount Lemon. According to the Pima County Sheriff's Department, this man here, William Holloway, is facing numerous felony charges, including first degree murder. Authorities say Murad was killed after leaping from a moving vehicle during a pursuit Saturday on Catalina Highway. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda spoke with those who work closely with victims of domestic violence about how to seek help before it's too late. Authorities say this is around the area where 54 year old Deborah Murrieta jumped out of a moving vehicle on Saturday to escape her boyfriend. Authorities say the call came in as a domestic violence incident. One local organization that works with domestic violence victims says this incident shows how dangerous these situations can be. When you've got somebody who is willing to jump out of a moving vehicle, it speaks to the danger inside of the vehicle. William Holloway has a criminal history in Pima County and had been released from prison just last year. In court documents attained by 13 News, Holloway told authorities he was driving Murrieta up to Mount Lemon to talk about their relationship issues. Murrieta called 911 when Holloway began driving erratically and refused to let her out. Murrieta could be heard crying and telling Holloway he was going to kill her. Nobody would do that if they didn't think that what was going to happen to them as they left the vehicle was somehow better for them, safer for them than staying in the vehicle. Vehicle, and that's a pretty extreme statement to make. Holloway allegedly continued driving for another 30 minutes after Marietta jumped out, later telling authorities he heard her asking him to stop and saw her jump. He also claimed to have taken 20 fentanyl pills. Sakawa says while drugs don't create domestic violence situations, they can make them more dangerous. We know that that is a recipe for disaster. We know that the rate of lethality of, of injury and death um, skyrocket when those things are at play. Holloway claims he and Marietta had been living together as a couple. Sakawa says a lot of factors play into a person not leaving a domestic violence situation, such as money and the past violence from the individual. There is no easy way out of that situation. And also a lot of abusive partners, when the object of their control dares to leave them, there's actually increased risk. Sakwa says there is help for people stuck in these situations. If you or someone else you know is in a domestic violence situation, Emerge has a 24-7 hotline you can call. We will continue to bring you the latest on this investigation. Reporting on Mount Lemon, Emily Miranda, 13 News.